plaintiff, Juanita Galloway, says a month after meeting the defendant online, they decided to meet in person. And the very next day, Juanita moved the defendant into her home. Juanita claims the defendant coached a kid's football team, and he ended up cheating on her with one of the boy's mothers. Juanita is suing her ex for breach of contract. Defendant Michael Dixon claims while dating Juanita, she was extremely jealous and questioned him about everything. Michael claims Juanita's behavior ultimately pushed him away, and he denies owing her for anything. All right, start with you. So I didn't know Michael before about September of last year when we met on blackpeoplemeet.com. Um, we talked for a while, got to know each other, and then we met in November. Uh, soon after that, um, I had him move in with me um, because he was basically homeless, didn't have a place to stay. Well, was he when you met him on the internet? In a Motel 6. Motel 6. And <laughs> how long did he stay in them? How long after meeting him did you move him in to your home? About the next day. Okay. Okay. And within a year, he beat you out of 3,500? Uh, less than a year, okay. Your Honor. Right. Um, Think that was a good choice to move a man into your house, knowing him one day? No, I had talked to him for. Oh, you did know I him had on talked the to internet. him for. Yes. <laughs> Got it. For a couple. Whatever months. he tell you about it, or whatever he tell you over the internet, that's that's gospel. You don't have to see any evidence. He said, baby, I got a Rolls Royce. <laughs> and I'm rich as cream. And maybe you misunderstood. He said, I own a chain of Motel 6s. <laughs> and you... The point is, man, you can tell anybody anything over that internet. And then you bring your problem to me a year later. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, so you moved him in, and how did that go? It went really well, Your Honor. Uh, we were really good friends. We um, we were really good to each other. Um, he was around almost all the time. That means it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not at first. Okay. So not it makes first. sense he would be around all the time. At least he wasn't living with you and chasing women. At least he was at home when you got there. Did he clean up? Yes. All right. Yeah. That was a decent deal. Had you a butler and a boyfriend. He, <laughs> He served us both. That was, that was a good deal. Make sure you're there oh when God. I get home. And I oh want the God. house to be clean. I want this and that to oh eat. God. And then later on, you know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a good deal. How many ladies would like that deal? See? <laughs> Oh Forgive me, you were on to something. I'm sorry, you meet as many men as you want on the internet if it turns out like that. Plaintiff Juanita Galloway met the defendant online, and she claims one day after they met in person, she moved him into her home. So things were going fine, what went wrong? So from November through July, things were going just great. Mm -hmm. until, I, until football season started, and I found out that he was a cheater. Uh, he started coaching in the evenings, and he started coming home a little bit later every evening. But he would always uh, let me know, usually, when he's going to be late. So one night, though, he didn't come in until about 1 o'clock. And I had called him, and I had texted him, no response. So when he came in, I said, where have you been? And he said he'd been out um, drinking and crying because his mother had died. Okay. Was that true? Well, I guess it was the anniversary of his mother's death. She died like 15, 20 years yeah. ago. Okay. <laughs> well, some so, folks uh, take that long to recover. So um, we had words, and uh, he left that night with some of his things. A um, couple days later, I thought, well, let me go up and see at the football field what's going on. So I went up there, and his car was parked, but... Out of the driver's side, there was a female leg hanging out. And um, so I, I went around the car and I said, is Michael there? And she said, no, he's at the Seahawks game. So that, that was one of the team moms. So I, I went home and I looked on the list of the kids on the roster and the addresses and 
figured out one of the ones that must be, I went over to where she lived and I saw her driving his car into the parking lot. You say you found that he was cheating. How did you find out it was other than what he told you? Well, one of my sons and his son were practicing football at the same field. Uh -huh. And my son told me that he had seen other girls with Michael. And seen him where? Did he tell you where? At football. And also, it turns out, at um, Applebee's. OK, and what did he tell you when you asked him about me? He said that I had chased him away. All right. Let me hear from you, sir. You give me some background on the case before we get to the breach of contract. First and foremost, I'm going to start out with two important things in my life is my family. Um, it started out with the not accepting my daughter. And, now, she and... said it started out with you being homeless. Oh, I was and, never homeless. And none of your family taking you in. I was never homeless. Oh, she said I you met didn't her at, stay at Hotel 6? No, we met at Motel 6. We met there, yes. But I didn't, I was never homeless. Okay, she told me that you were homeless and you might be a man of the family, but the family is not of you because they didn't give, <laughs> they wouldn't give you a place to stay. So, but go ahead. Well, Your Honor, You're a big I family man. I wasn't, and so, I wasn't homeless. And I did meet her at Motel 6. Mm -hmm. We did meet there, but we did talk to people prior to that. Mm -hmm. um, the, the situation occurred as far as acceptance of my daughter. No, let's get back to the story she gave. I have to okay. understand the entire the case. The Motel 6? And afterwards, when you moved in with her, how long after seeing her in person did you move in with her? Uh, approximately, probably uh, right away. Why? I felt that it would be a good move. Where were you staying that day before moving in? My sister's. Okay. And time you met her, you moved in with her? Yes, sir. Because you thought it would be a good move? Well, I liked her. And you've seen her one day? No, no, we've been talking for a while. Saw! No, that was... No. Saw! Yes, seen sir. in yes. person! Yes, in Your person. Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Y'all hadn't heard of that series, Catfish? <laughs> Where they trick each other about who they really are? And this is a regular occurrence on the internet? They tell people anything. I was on there the other day, I told a woman that I had uh, a, a castle in Ireland. <laughs> Until my wife walked by, she said, why are you telling that lie? You know you ain't got no, no, no castle in Ireland. I said, no, I'm just on their line. Because the people can't tell one way or the other. <laughs> all right, but you all, hopefully you learned your lesson. Plaintiff Juanita Galloway met the defendant online, and she claims one day after they met in person, she moved him into her home. So tell me about, you were getting to the point of the relationship and how things went, and you were saying she wouldn't accept your daughter. Okay, the relationship went good, and then um, my sister, I mean, excuse me, my daughter, uh, we had a situation where she didn't want my daughter to be there, and so she asked me for my daughter to leave, so I took my daughter home. And then my sister came and stayed with us, because she just came from L.A., and to uh, live she there. was questioning me, excuse me? She came to live with... She you came all. to stay for, uh, actually, I think it was like maybe three, three weeks or a month. That was uh, the intention? That was the intention. She okay. was to get her own place. Go ahead. And then after that, she was questioning that, well, how is that your sister? When I'm at, while I'm at football practice, she's asking her, well, who's the dad? Do you have the same mom? Question her about if that's my sister or not. Mm -hmm. She wanted to know about you. Well, you're asking questions. Well, I've already told you that's my sister. <laughs> I have no reason to bring some woman into your house. I don't play like, I don't do, that's not what I do. You had already told her, and so she just wanted to kind of verify. Well, it was, it was more oh, to the extent wow. of more questioning why I'm gone when I've already asked, you've already asked her already in front of me. Okay. Now when I'm leaving, you're asking her again. All right, so it was the jealousy in the relationship that caused the problem? Well, it's pretty much pushing me away because you don't want to believe what I'm telling you. Why did you not believe what he was saying? Because, Your Honor, he has so many different siblings with so many different last names and I, different... Now anyway, they all look so different, so. All right, what are you suing him for today? All right, Your Honor, um, he had skills as a construction worker and landscaper. He had had his own business before, he told me. So um, I decided I would help him. We decided that we would open a business, so I took out the business license, um, paid for the liability and all that, 
and he needed a truck. He said his truck had been stolen before. So um, I went to my savings account. This is um, the statement from my bank. Did, did you want to see that? Saying that you withdrew money? Withdrew the cash, gave it okay. to Michael, and um, he went and decided that he liked one particular truck, that it was a really good deal. So um, I you had... You were loaning him this money? No, no. Um, I was buying the truck for the business, okay. which was what under was my name. What was your percentage of the business? I owned the business, sir. 100%? 100%. Okay. Uh, he was... So the money you gave him was... It was money for him to give to the dealer to or... pay for the truck. Okay, so it was just a go get it from me, go pass yes. it on, go deliver the money. Yes. All right, let's hear from you, sir. Well, uh, regarding the truck, the money was given to me to, to buy the truck way before the business... Let's was... back up. Were you in business together? Uh, the truck, there was no business open yet. There was no business. Were you ever in business together? Yes. And what percentage ownership did you have of this business? Well, actually, I was the contractor. And no, I... no, ownership in the business. That's what we're talking about. Okay. The question is ownership. What is your understanding? Were you a part owner or were you just an employee contractor? Well, my, my, my belief that I was part owner. And what percentage? I was probably half because I'm the one. Probably the half. Yeah. So there was no agreement. There was no all agreement. right. Thirty five hundred is your judgment. Let me put you all back in the same place you were because nobody understood what they were doing. In the meantime, <laughs> who has the truck? He has. I do. All right. Have a good day. That's it. Well, I'm happy it's over with. Till we can be friends. Yeah, pretty much the same. Oh. Michael's a, a good person. He has a nice heart. I'm not angry with Michael. I'm not, I'm not angry with her.